doesn't just take a big corporation to provide personal protective equipment to those in need during this pandemic. Kelly and Jim Shaw and over 20 other people in Seabwing are a testament to that. We've helped three or four local hospitals, um, including Shure Hospital, and we've helped the Huron County Health Department. It's just fantastic to uh, be able to do this part. The Seabwing community has only been making masks for about two weeks, and a few thousand masks later, they now have a wait list for those donations. This group of people came together after a simple Facebook post. Just asking for donations of elastic or fabric. And one local member happened to be on and, and saw the post. Her name is Jeannie Squires. And she immediately messaged that she wanted to help. That started the ball rolling. The masks are being made with cotton and muslin fabrics. The quickly formed group is making major progress, all while maintaining their social distancing. Some people cut, some people sew. I hit the houses, pick up from one, take it to the next person in line. So we don't come into contact with each other at all, except through messaging. Those gifted with the handmade mask are touched. Everybody who gets a mask has something positive to say about the effort that our group is doing. It's also a gratifying experience for the small team out of Seabwing. That's what keeps us all going. So it's not like we're doing them a favor, we're both doing each other a favor. Um, it's it it's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> In Seabwing, Blake Heller, WNEM TV5.